Over the last two weeks, we have seen events both in America and closer to home that have brought policing into sharp focus. I think it would be difficult for anyone not to be impacted on by the tragic events in America and subsequent scenes around the world in support of Black Lives Matters. We have seen a number of events of support locally and my thanks go to everyone who has protested peacefully across North Wales. But we are still in a health pandemic with COVID-19 and I would ask both those considering organising an event or attending one, please make your voice heard in other ways and don't put each other, my officers and communities at risk. We often talk about iconic moments in history and it is tragic that it's taken the death of a black man in America to again confront racism and unfairness in society. I genuinely feel that this is one of those moments in time where we have a real opportunity to work with our communities to tackle discrimination, unfairness, racism and injustice and if we don't tra do that now, tragically a man's death, George Floyd, will have been in vain. I was deeply saddened to see the serious levels of violence aimed at colleagues in the Met over the weekend and actually overnight. It is difficult to understand the mindset that police officers deserve to be attacked because of the actions of others. Violence achieves absolutely nothing. We must always remember that the police are the community and the community are the police. I was an officer in London where the, when the report unto Stephen Lawrence's death was published and both saw the, and felt the impact this landmark report had on policing. I genuinely believe policing in our country have come a long way, but the events of the last few weeks rightly challenge us to ask, have we done enough, gone far enough and challenged enough? It would be easy in so many areas to point to the excellent work that is done on a daily basis across North Wales to ensure our force is representative, engaged and relevant to our diverse communities. But when we look at the stark facts around disproportionality, we need to do more. We can never sit on our laurels and we must be, be placing more emphasis on diversity because it is the right thing to do. Finally, as we approach week 12 of lockdown in Wales, please continue to help us by following the Welsh Government advice in relation to stay local. We will continue our policing approach that we have throughout this health crisis and we have seen such support and progress in fighting this violence, but this can only work with your help. Diolch thank you.